This assessment asks us to draw reaction coordinate diagrams for both equilibrium processes shown on the screen. I've gone ahead and drawn the transition state as we go from the reactant, in quotes, to the product over here for A, as well as for B. To draw these reaction coordinate diagrams correctly, we're going to need to know real energies. Whenever we're putting in numbers, don't get caught up in the quantities, but what those quantities qualitatively represent. Uh, but let's use the numbers regardless. Over here in A, in the reactant, we have two gauche interactions, one here methyl methyl and one here. That's going to mean that A starts at around 1.8 kilocalories per mole. based on having two Gauche interactions. The product of A has just one Gauche interaction, so net that's going to be 0 0.9 kilocalories per mole. What this tells us from the beginning is this is going to be a downhill reaction. We're going to go from 1.8 to 0 0.9. And so let's go ahead and, and label that here. We'll pretend that here's our value of 1.8 that's our starting value, and we'll finish at a value of 0 0.9 so that the difference here is 0.9 kilocalories per mole. We can do the same calculation for our eclipsed conformation. When we go from one staggered to another staggered, we're going to pass through eclipsed. Uh, the numbers that we're going to use here, a hydrogen-hydrogen eclipsing interaction is worth 1 kilocalorie. A methyl hydrogen eclipsing interaction is around 1.3 kilocalories per mole, and a methyl methyl eclipsing interaction is around 3 kilocalories per mole. That's going to give a total of 5.3 kilocalories per mole as the energy of the transition state. Well, if this is 1.8, then this would be about 3.6. We're going to run out of room for the scale here, but let's just put that our transition state is going to be at this point here. And so our reaction coordinate diagram would look something like this. Now, to use the real numbers, if the energy of the transition state is 5.3 and the energy of the reactant is 1.8, then 5.3 minus 1.8 would give us an activation energy of 3.5 kilocalories per mole. That's going to be important for the next part of this question. Let's jump over and do the same thing for B. Notice here we have in B, we have once again two Gauche interactions in the reactant. So that's going to be uh, 1.8 kilocalories, each Gauche interaction worth one point, or point 0.9, so point 0.9 times 2 is 1.8. We'll leave off the units to save space. Over here on the, re, the product side, we have, again, just two Gauche interactions. So a total of 1.8 kilocalories per mole of strain. If the reactant is at 1.8 and the product is at 1.8, our reaction coordinate diagram should illustrate that we start and finish at the same point. Here's our 1.8. We'll finish at 1.8. Neither side is going to be favored. Uh, calculating the energy of our transition state, our eclipsed conformation that is halfway between the two staggered. The methyl hydrogen interaction is worth 1.3. This methyl methyl is worth 3. This methyl hydrogen is worth 1.3. Add those up, we get a total of 5.6 kilocalories per mole. 1.3 plus 1.3 plus 3 is 5.6 kilocalories per mole. Doing that thing where, again, not to scale, we'll say that the transition state then is at this value of 5.6. We can draw a reaction coordinate diagram to look like that. The difference in energy between the transition state and the reactant is our activation energy. 5.6 minus 1.8 should give a total of 3.8 kilocalories per mole for the activation energy. These are how we would draw reaction coordinate diagrams. The second part of the question asks us 
which one is faster. For that, we want to look at the activation energy. Over here, to go from reactant to product has an activation energy of 3.5 kilocalories. To go from reactant to product over here is 3.8 kilocalories. The lower activation energy is the faster reaction. So the reaction, in quotes, illustrated in A, has the lower activation energy and would therefore be the faster reaction.